With another reaction, man. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute. Now, listen. <laughs> Traffic stop time, bro. Traffic stop big bus time. Traffic stop fine. Six million dollars worth of fentanyl hid in a spare tire, bro. Now, if y'all not familiar with fentanyl or fentanyl, however it is you pronounce it, where you are from, um, it's kind of like morphine, but way stronger, bro. <laughs> Way, 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 way stronger, fam. Yeah, man. People get addicted to it. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. They need it, bro. Pain relief and all kind of stuff that you, they do with it. All right. So we're going to check this video out, man. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Run the lights up. Let's get to it. 40-minute video style. Y'all got to hit the like button, man. I, I got a 40-piece for y'all right now. A 40-piece. You know, you got to say it like that. A 40 piece. I got a 40 piece for y'all. 40 minutes. And it uh, might be longer. Let's go. Where are you guys going? All the way up to New York. Speak English? A little bit. A little bit. But I don't know if you're going to do In the future, don't, don't be the only guy without a license and be driving the car. I know. Okay, tiene dos lo mismo. Friend and woman. Friend and woman. You can't put dos numeros on. Y'all are under arrest. For what? For the bad stuff. For the bad stuff. Right. Walk in behind my car. I would like to help you if you would like to help me. So, do you want to help? I have no idea. Those yes, are. you do. No, you I don't. Yes, you do. Would you like to help? 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 What? set the stage y'all this is in what august no 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 september september 28th of 2017 around 9 17 a.m all right early morning he trying to get out there <laughs> trying to get moving early morning moving this weight Please, y'all doing all right? All right. Are you getting tired? No. Are you okay? I just pressed the milk right now. Who you got with you? Three of you? You're just riding down the center line for a while there. I was just checking on you. Make sure you're not getting sleepy about it. Yeah, on the dotted white line? I just oh, checking on you. Let okay. me check your license real quick, okay? Your paperwork. It's in my back. Uh, in the back of the Okay. Do you have the paperwork for the car? It's over in You can come back here and get your license, though. You guys have, have y'all's? Where are your ID? That made me a little nervous right there. That caught pretty bold to let somebody go to the trunk like that while he's just standing there. That was pretty, that, that was nerve-wracking for me, man. And I was trying to hear. They say he pulled him over because he was, he was, uh, Hugging the center lane, I mean, not the center lane, but the center line, he was riding it pretty good, and he was trying to make sure he wasn't sleepy. Okay, so that's what I was about to say, because I was about to say, bro, if you were speeding, because most people get pulled over with drugs or different things on them, they'd be speeding. I'd be like, cruise control, fam? 
What are you doing? Switch right now. Okay. Who is the guy in the back? The, the guy right here. Who's that? Family member. That's all. Okay. That's family member. First time here. So you got, what hotel are y'all staying in up there? No idea. No, no you idea. Just gonna make the arrangements. Just as I go. Okay. How long are y'all staying up there? Uh, through Monday, I believe. Okay. That's a long trip, huh? Yeah, it's a, a long, long trip. Drive. No weapons on here or anything? Oh, no. Okay. Uh, why don't you stand right back here? I'm gonna let you stand here with this. He's an officer, also, okay? Hey, sir. Speak English? A little bit. A little bit. I don't live on. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Now I think so far they're kind of on to him a little bit because the the way he answered the question. Now it could have been nerves too, because I can't lie to you, bro. <laughs> Again, I get pulled over. I'm nervous too. You know what I mean? So my questions may seem a little funny. So I can't really judge right now whether the cop is on to them yet or not. No, no tiene. ¿Tiene licencia? Sí, sí, tiene. Ok. ¿Aquí de México? Aquí dice. Ok. Aquí dice. 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 Aquí Porque obteniste un carro en California cuando tú vives en Arizona. Porque fui a rentar el carro. Mi carro dice. Um, mi carro no morro. Oh, ah, yeah. No, no morro. Uh, mi carro. Sound. Ok. Sound. Ok. Ah. No tiene nada mala, no pistola. No, no. Everybody out right now. <laughs> We've been to search, bro. Everybody out. We got lots of stuff. Just up in front. I'm that real quick. We got lots of stuff in your pocket. Okay. 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 Keep waiting on them to run, bro, and just tear out. There's the opportunity right now. Okay. 
I'll let you uh, just stand up there with them. Hey, in the future, don't don't be the only guy without a license and be driving the car. I know some. I know. Uh, I'm just sorry. stand up there with them, okay? You want to stand up? Do you mind stand up there with them? I've seen in a while, bro. <laughs> you don't see too many people go right up under the wheel well and just go at it, just looking. <laughs> Sit it on the hood. We need to see. 
anything I, I need to know what's going on I would like to tell you that I'm trying to get you through the first part of what I need to tell you though do you understand what I just told you yes okay the, the problem for you is uh -huh. that you're driving a car uh -huh. that has a whole bunch of drugs in the car now the second part of that is man I would like to help you if you would like to help me so do you want to help I have no idea Yes, you do. No, we don't. Yes, you do. Would you like to help? Help how? What? Help by telling the truth, and maybe we get the bad guys on the other side of this instead of just you three. Y'all are, are what's called mules. You're taking so the drugs I to get. I have no idea. Yes, I have no idea. Yes, you did. Anyways. They told me if I could drive, but that's what I do. Okay, how much were they paying you to drive? The road trip? I know. How much were they paying you for the road trip? It was more like a, a favor type oh, of deal. What, how much were they paying you? They were not paying nothing. Be honest with me, man. They were not paying me nothing. Uh, okay. Okay. You understand that a lot of prison time can come with having a lot of drugs in the car, right? You understand that? I don't even know if there's a joint in there. I have no idea what's going on. I don't honestly. I'm not talking about a joint. I'm talking about the spare tire pull. -up. I don't know anything about it. Sir. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I'm trying to help you. I don't know anything about it. You do. Is it methamphetamine or is it marijuana? What y'all think? Y'all believe him? He keeps saying, I don't know nothing about it. What was it, a joint? Y'all believe him? What do y'all, what, what, what's going on? Y'all believe him? How, how about, we'll just I have get no to that. clue. Is it just, I, I don't know, you know what's going on in this car. You do. I got picked up and I drove. Who picked you up? Fairberto. Well, I mean, you know, the guy that rented the car. Where's the other town. guy from? Is he from Mexico? Yeah. Yeah. It's just like here, please. Okay. <laughs> Is the other guy actually from Mexico? Hey, look at me. Do you even know him? The other guy? Yeah, I know him. You do know him? What's the other guy's name? Both of them are really close to I'm, I'm listening. Oh, what, what's your hand? <laughs> on the side of the road playing let's make a deal <laughs> yeah that cop wasted no time let's make a deal there we go all right that better i mean they're not going to be comfortable but that's better right yeah. Do you, hey, do you even know this guy in the back? <laughs> you don't know him, do you? Be honest with me. It's so much easier to be honest and try to. And try to fucking tight. You can see my wrists are red. Look, man, that's not that loose thing? at all. Or that's not tight at all. I've got my whole finger in between. Yeah. You gotta keep your, you gotta keep your hand, the back of your hand facing the other back of the hand, just like that, okay? No, backs of the hand. If you keep them like that, it's fine, okay? Is it methamphetamine? Sir, if you could give me a million dollars, I couldn't answer that question. I have no clue. Where are you taking? Are you actually going to New York to take it up there? Probably. I have no clue. Well, where are you supposed to be going? You know that. I'm driving. What did he ask him about meth? Hold on, y'all. Let me go back. It registered kind of late. Sir, if you could give me a million dollars, I could. Is it methamphetamine? Sir, if you could give me a million dollars. Okay, he's still trying to figure out what it is. He hasn't identified what it is. He just knows that it's drugs. I couldn't answer that question. I have no clue. Where are you taking? Are you actually going to New York to take it up there? 
probably. I have no clue. Well, where are you supposed to be going? You know that. I'm driving. Right. I'm going to drive. Where did they tell you to drive Left to? here, right there, get off. Uh, the guy in the front is telling you the directions. <laughs> It's a wrap now, bro. <laughs> it's a wrap. First of all, he asked you, did you know him? And you was like, yeah, I know him. Now it's like, you don't know where you're going, left here, right here, or whatever. That is, your stories are starting to get kind of choppy. 24, watch your phone. Uh, that right there. Did you say the 81? Told you we try to talk to the prosecutor about helping you out. Would you be willing to cooperate and tell the whole truth? I could talk to the prosecutor for you. You're, you're driving. I want to make it clear. I have no clue what was in this. Car. He's standing firm on it. He's standing firm. Okay. Okay. Won't play hardball, huh? I think if your buddy picks you up, hey, can ride? Can you take me? Come with me? Double. Yes. This guy's uh, not, this guy's not your here. buddy. He's from Arizona. I'm just saying. The other guy's from Mexico. How is that your buddy? And you're and you're you're like five states away from California. He didn't just ask you to go for a ride with him. Okay. Well, I mean, you knew something was going on. You may not know all the details. No, I don't know the details. You don't know the detail. You know something's going on, though. That's why I'm asking you. Well, I'm not asking you for every little detail, okay? I'm just asking you to tell me the truth so I can vouch for you. All right? So how did this start? He just called you and asked you if you if you take a trip with him and you just didn't try to ask any questions? Is that right? Okay. I mean, you knew something was up. You just didn't want to ask questions, right? You knew something was up, like not You nothing. knew he was doing something he shouldn't be doing. And you didn't want to ask really? Come on, man. He called you from St. Louis, Arizona and said, will you come take me somewhere? You don't even have a license. So you thought that was a good idea to drive cross country without a license? You know, I mean, you got to make sense, man, okay? You knew something was up. It's okay if you don't know every detail. I'm just asking you for the, be honest with me. And y'all got to be back in a few days. You obviously knew something was up. My, my guess is you're not going all the way to New York. I'd love to know where you're actually going. I don't even know if it's a mile from here. I don't know if it's a mile. I don't know. He, you know, stop, go, left, right. When I pulled you over, did he tell you to say, hey, we're going to New York for my son? Or what did he, when did he tell well, you that? That was, 
Is that what he told you? That's okay. When did he tell you to say that, though? When y'all started, if you get, did he tell you when you get pulled over? If you get pulled over, just say you're going to New York to visit my son. What? Huh? Go ahead. He's in my car. He can't hear you. The other guy's way back there. Is that what he said? I mean, that was pretty much agreed to. Yesterday, let's say. It's been, I don't even know what fucking day it's been. I know. It's Thursday. He got him. He, he, he's starting to break. He's slowly breaking right now. And that's what I was worried about, too. I'm like, yo, man, you're doing all this talking to this cop. And they sit there, see you talking to this cop, man. If they put y'all in the same jail, it's over for this dude right here, bro. It's over for him. They better put him under witness protection or they better separate them some kind of way. So he told you yesterday, if y'all were to get pulled over, just say we're going to New York to visit my That family. was one, but then I heard also, uh, what's Rock, Little Rock or whatever. Right. So I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if it's going to Little Rock, we'd love to help because that, we, could, we could help you a lot for that. So it was like a little, uh, just different cities that were brought up. And, okay. But, but, you, but you, the you knew, I knew, the better. I, I agree, but you know you weren't going to New York to visit his son. Y'all were up to something you That's the story. Oh, okay. so, I mean, to some degree, that's what he said. Right. But you knew that wasn't the case. Are you worried about Little Rock or whatever? It's all, it's all right, man. I'm really calm. Not gonna get a drink. Where is your water? Where is your water? It's in the front passenger. There's another officer coming in just a second. I'll get you some water. I promise. 20, 24. Whenever you show up, just pull up here in the front, please. So it's right there. call this officer from another state or what he been calling him for like this entire video bro hey <laughs> connected to the cartel or something like that fam you sitting here running your mouth to this guy like you don't know who this dude could be who you got in the car six million dollars worth of fentanyl bro you could be dealing with somebody who's high up fam I to help you and i can if you don't tell me i don't know if i'm gonna get help or i'm gonna get fucked over you know thank you thank you thank you yes bro <laughs> yes fam this dude that you don't know in the backseat could be connected. You don't know if you're getting helped or what. Get it in writing. Ask for it in writing. Uh, before you make a statement, get it in writing. Uh, Just relax, okay? 27. going to benefit me or you guys mostly well, that's what i told you i'm look, we would like to get the people that it's going to that are putting the dope on the street especially if that's in our backyard in little rock or surrounding city that's my backyard so if you don't think that i would do everything in my power to help you by getting that off the street and getting those people that are waiting for this to put it on the street then i don't know what to tell you that's all i can tell you is i promise that i would do everything i can I will call the prosecuting attorneys and ask them to, I'll beg them to help you. And that has always worked, as long as you do what you can do. All right, now if 
you lie to me and you don't do what you're supposed to do, then yeah, you're not going to get any help. But if you can do what, what we're talking about and help us get those people, then why would we not help you? We'd love to help you. The prosecuting attorney, it's his backyard too. So um, that's obviously what we'd love to do. I'm going to tell you, it looks like methamphetamine. I don't know if they had an ounce of weed on them. I have no clue. This is fucking... Do you think it's going to Little Rock or do you think it's going somewhere else? Just I me mean, what you got feeling. I thought Brian was going to leave. Are you behind him? Yes. Okay, then just put that guy in your car and when Brian gets here, he can that guy. Okay. Seth. 24, just pull up here to the front, please. As soon as he gets up here. You put him in his car. Finally. <laughs> Finally. Or I'm going to get his bottle of water. Is this yours? It's in the console? Please. Okay. Please. Is that good? Hey, are you good? Can you take it with me? Yeah. Did we have some? Yeah. Is the power right or the... It's mine. It's mine. Okay. I'll go make a phone call and get DTF yeah, on that way. Spare tire. busy could y'all uh, come to the 73 and pick up a rental car that's got a load and a spare tire I think it's I think it's gonna be uh, Matt maybe going to Arkansas so I gotta call all right thank you yeah yeah I got three three folks with me though so I don't Anyways, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, we'll be here. Thank you. Does your guy speak good English? Well, I, I didn't talk to him very much. At first he did. <laughs> Y'all heard him right. At first he did. I should let you know right then and there. <laughs> yeah, we know what time it is. When, they, when you go from English really good to then Spanish. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We know what time it is then. Okay. Will you pull up this so I can talk to him, please? That guy, my car does speak good English. He speaks perfect. That's why I was talking to him. This guy doesn't speak very good. Hi, guys. Good to see him in Spanish. Yeah, he got. He rented it, but that guy was driving with no license. Hey, 
Okay. Do you speak English okay? You don't speak English much? Poquito. Poquito. Alright. Está bien. Feel the bundles under there, and then in the tire it doesn't have any air in it, so I, I just cut into the tire and I can see them. But I can't tell. I've probably missed. That's the scariest part of that right there, man. And you getting down beside a highway that's as active as this, as this highway is right now it is super active bro i would be nervous to crawl up under that car next to this highway i don't know maybe cocaine
tire. Open that tire. Is it cocaine? Heroin? Here, just put, you can put it on. Cocaine? Uh, Should it be cocaine? How many kilos is it? Okay, where is it going? Really okay. I'm giving you my man's word. Okay. So, he's the only one that knows, the front seat guy, the guy that rented it? who I need to talk to so I can get, I mean, the more we can do, the more we can help. And so you starting off being honest helps, but I need to be able to do more to help you, okay? I, need to, I mean, we can't get the other guys on the other end if we don't even know where it's going. This camera's on and on. Okay, well, I mean, I'm on. Mine's recorded, yes, and I have to record you. I don't know if his is recorded. I mean, it's got to be recorded anyways, man. I can't just go up to the prosecutor and say, take my word for it, he's cooperating. I mean, let's go, come on, let's go over there. I want to get the ball going. But I don't know where it's going. How are you, okay, well, how are you going to help if you don't know anything? Tell me how we're, I mean, how are we going to get to where we want to go if you don't know anything? Tell me, are you going to be able to talk to him and convince him to cooperate? The guy that knows. You can't. No, they already figured out that he's up there ratting, bro. I'm pretty sure of it. I know they know by now that he's up there ratting. Something on top of my head. I only know. Do you know him well enough to talk to him is what I'm saying. To, to say, hey, man, let's do the right thing. You don't know him that well, okay. The only thing I know is that he told me, like, again, hey, can you help me drive? Come on, drive, whatever. All right. The less I need, the better. Okay. Um, you know, stop, go, whatever. What's the white fluid that just dripped out of the tire? Is that so? Yeah, it's right there, you That I don't know. Okay. I, I didn't have to touch that. No, okay. Okay. You know? Okay, that's fine. How much are you making for the trip? How much is he supposed to pay you? 2000 5000 be trying to help your family or yourself. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, it, it was going to be around 2000 Okay. Are you getting that when you get back? Are y'all taking any money? I got to look up on my phone. Is fentanyl used to make meth? I, I shouldn't be looking this up on my phone. I probably shouldn't be looking this up on my phone. I'll say it again. Fed's probably gonna kick up my kick my door open. I don't know. I didn't say. Any money back? Do you know? Just, um, no. Just taking the tire and not. They're not filling it with money. Okay. Not to my knowledge, not oh. the thing I know. Okay. I mean, how did you get hooked up with this guy? He's from San Luis, Arizona. That's not close to where you live. Like through family or friends or something. It's all right. I don't see a buddy. I got you. Let me, let me, the, the ball is rolling, by the way. I've got people coming. It's just taking us, it's taking a minute, okay? All right, all right. To your understanding, are y'all on a strict time frame? Okay. Listen, I, I can't speak enough Spanish to comfortably talk to him. That's the problem I'm having right now. I'm going to have to wait on Spanish speakers to talk to him, okay? So let me get that rolling. It may take a while, though. So if you suspect it's going to Little Rock, I need to know that because that's only an hour away from here. But if it's going out of state, then we got plenty of time to work with. You honestly have no idea, though? Okay. I, I, okay. No, no. no. I can't do that right now, okay? I can't let you, you can be on speaker. I'm not gonna see I can't let you talk to your wife right now. So just relax, okay? There's we have rules. Just a second. Yeah.
I'm going to take some pictures real quick. Duke was a registered owner. He'd been arrested in uh, Tennessee for over 100 pounds. Sound like somebody got a rap sheet. He <laughs> said he's been arrested in Tennessee for uh, sound like weed, maybe. Okay. He doesn't know. Bundle right there. That's, that's heavy. Here's the fire bed really bad too, does it? I don't know. I mean, look at that. This is legit. This cop move out the way move so he can see. We've been waiting 40 minutes to see. Just now got it down. That thing's heavy though. Yeah. I'll just follow you there. I'll get it. Sounds good. Anything? Yes, sir. Let's do it. That's a 15-inch tire. 17. Oh, it is? Okay. Good eye. Hey, uh, Brian, can you... Is there anybody else out down there? No, but I can run DTF. Are y'all good with that? Are y'all good with that? Do we have... How many rooms do we have over there? Or would it be easier just take them to jail? We can uh, we can separate them out inside the office and then okay. have one in every room and switch them out. Okay. You just coming to ours? Yes, sir. We'll see you there. Thanks, man. from but yeah man i feel like they're gonna get them back to the uh to the station man and work on it some more the driver he was already he was already cracking you know what i mean so i feel like they lean on them some more the other dudes i don't know they may not they might not speak at all they already went complete spanish bro from english to spanish which lets you know already that something suspicious so I doubt they get a word out of them. They're probably just, you know what I mean? I'll wait till they public defender, get their public defender issued and go from there, man. But uh, I guess that's a good day for that cop right there, man. <laughs> you can tell he's trying to be a detective. <laughs> he's out there, man. Help me help you. I'll talk to the prosecutor, man. I got You got my word. Want me to loosen the cuffs? <laughs> Listen, man, y'all get at me in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think, man, and stick around and stay tuned till the next reaction. My, uh, till the next reaction, I'm out. Y'all stay solid and run a likes up. Hey.